So welcome to Hit Labs 2023 Summit. Would you mind just introducing yourself, your name, your title, and the name of the organization that you represent? Sure. Uh, firstly, thank you once again for the opportunity. My name is Rama Rao. I'm the founder of BlockCube. Mm -hmm. We are very close partners with the labs over the years, and we have built a unique uh, e-clinical software platform to accelerate clinical trials and drug development. Wow. In simple terms, it's a bit like the guys who will be selling shovels when somebody's going, fucking <laughs> gold. <laughs> Well, someone has to do it, and so glad that you are. So, Rama, thank you so much for joining me today. So, you mentioned that you're close partners with HitLab. So, is this your first summit, or have you been to them in the past? I think I've been to some of the previous summits also, mm -hmm. both online and the other one. But even more, when we first built our product and we had a hard time, how do you diffuse this innovation? Because mm -hmm. we were amongst the earliest guys to build it on a blockchain platform. Mm -hmm. Uh, I spoke to Stan, and Stan suggested they do a virtual certification of our product. And so in 2020, uh, somewhere around this time, the, uh, Stan's team did a virtual certification of product, which allowed us then to talk to customers a lot okay. more uh, easily. So the linkage with Stan and his team and HitLabs goes back at least. So. That's wonderful. So I'm wondering for this summit so far, who have you been able to talk to? What kind of healthcare companies have you been able to catch up with and learn about what they do? So um, to be fair, I was not here yesterday, mm -hmm. but I was watching the panel run by Pooja, mm -hmm. and I thought the fent Femtech entrepreneurs are doing a brilliant job, and I yeah. plan to reach out to them because at some stage you need to do a clinical trial to compare mm -hmm. your product. So that's one element. But even today I met people who are potential investors, mm -hmm. and just to get a sense of, oh, they're looking at this recessionary conditions for investment in health tech. Yeah. And more importantly, I think uh, being here and helping me understand the 60,000 foot ecosystem mm -hmm. perspective, yeah. which is critical. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So that's in three levels. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So you started touching on it a little bit, but what are um, some of the collaborators that you see working with in the future and maybe how could you support them and how could they support you? Well, I think uh, one of the things is that uh, why I also come here is we're really into looking out for hiring talent. Mm -hmm. So, um, oddly enough, I don't, I don't know how Hit Labs weaves its magic. They always have some very smart young talent there. And I like to talk to them first because they become part of my kind of pool. To whom I'll talk to the military to a seed raise and start mm -hmm. staffing up. Yeah, absolutely. You know, because, so that's the first part. Mm -hmm. But I think the other part that is also important is there are service providers. Mm -hmm. So I met up with Silicon Valley Bank and Fuja through HitLab mm -hmm. uh, last month, I think it was. Or I've talked to Goodwin, the law and legal firm, again through mm -hmm. HitLab, Silicon Valley, and so also with the PR firms. So there is a constellation of service providers that it gets very uh, difficult for an entrepreneur mm -hmm. to find who to work with. Yeah. So the pre-selection done by their participation at HitNavs helps me enormously to cut short my time and to tap yeah. my bed. So that's one of the brilliant. Absolutely. Aspect. That's great to hear. Um, I'm wondering, so I'm going to go ahead and assume that you'll be returning for another HitLab Summit. So until that time, how do you see BlockCube growing and what kind of improvements and changes do you want to make before then? So uh, that's a great point, you know. Um, the first thing is that, as I spoke today about the challenges on the diffusion of innovation, it didn't help me understand a little better on what steps I need to take. Mm -hmm. But the second is we're on the verge of signing a couple of letters of intent mm -hmm. on memorandum of understanding with potential customers. And uh, once that's done, we'll get in the implementation phase. So hopefully by the time I come for my next summit, mm -hmm. I would be in a position to share the success or the outcome of that. Mm -hmm. So that's one part. The other part is that uh, innovation is a continuous process uh, for competitive reasons and also for co co consumer reasons. And uh, we're working on some pretty cool uh, product features that hopefully we may be in a position to expose uh, 
or at least shine a spotlight on mm. at the next summit. Yeah. It's a little early. But, uh, <laughs> Absolutely. Fingers crossed. Absolutely. And my fingers are crossed for you. So, Rama, thank you so much for joining me today and thank answering you. all my questions. I really appreciate it. Thank and you so much for the... the